Hello, Coach McMillan. Uh, we, I think we got you. Can you hear me? I got you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you as always for joining. Uh, if you are ready, we will go ahead and begin. Again, I'd like to start off uh, first by uh, giving thanks again to my God for uh, this blessing. Uh, just a, a wonderful opportunity to work with a great group of uh, young men. Um, just thank you, God, for all that uh, has been given to me uh, this season. We can start with some questions. All right. Um, with that said, we will begin with the first question coming from Sarah Spencer of the AJC. Hey, Nate, um, just what are the emotions like in, in this moment? Right? Has it, does it hit you yet? Can you take it all in with, with the guys in that locker room as well? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm really happy uh, for this group of uh, guys and, and coaches uh, because, you know, all that we talked about, uh, you know, they have done. If there's no quit in this team. Uh, they continue to uh, work together. They continue to trust each other. Uh, they continue to believe. Uh, I, I, I can't believe how calm I was uh, throughout this game. And I think it just came from the fact that I knew these guys were going to give me everything that they had. Uh, they did uh, to, to finish uh, a series again on uh, the opponent's home court. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I, I mean, it sh just shows the growth of, uh, of this group of men. What can you say about Kevin Herter's performance tonight? Well, we've been struggling. Our guys have been struggling, uh, you know, trying to get that uh, ball, put the ball in the basket. And, you know, uh, we, we said that eventually it's, it's, it's got to open up for us. Uh, those shots are going to start to fall. Uh, you keep uh, shooting the ball. You keep being aggressive. You know, Kevin uh, came out tonight, uh, was very aggressive. Uh, we pretty much just uh, fed the hot hand. Uh, I thought our, uh, our guards, I thought Trey and Lou, those guys did a good job of calling the game and uh, keeping Kevin involved. And he did a great job of uh, making plays for us tonight. We needed that. Um, and, um, you know, he came through, you know, uh, he's really struggled last game uh, shooting the ball, but uh, we believe in him. And we, we, we've said that uh, we believe in all of our shooters and uh, we wanted those guys to stay aggressive, uh, no hesitation. And uh, tonight uh, he came up big for us. Thank you. Chris Kirshner. Nate, you're coaching a, a, a group that's 20, 21, 22 years old, and, and they just won three road games in Philadelphia. What can you say about the lack of fear that your group has? I mean, I, I think it starts with our, 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 guard, our point guard. Trey plays that style of uh, basketball. Uh, you know, even though he, uh, you know, he tonight the ball didn't fall for him, he continued to be aggressive which uh, put pressure on the defense to have to guard him. Uh, you know, but then he also, uh, you know, gave, fed the hot hand. Uh, you know, he got the ball to Kevin and allowed Kevin to, to make plays and some other guys, you know. So, uh, I mean, they just continue to show growth. You know, we, we talk about uh, the things that we need to do. I felt like they were, they were built for this moment uh, tonight to win this game. Uh, they've shown uh, this type of play really all season long uh, for us, uh, you know, finishing uh, a game or finishing the fourth quarter. And I just felt, I really felt confident uh, that we were going to play a good game uh, tonight and give ourselves a chance to win. Zach Klein. Hey, Coach, if I were to tell you before the game that Trey would be 5 of 23 from the floor, but you would win on the road, would you believe me, A, and how did you do it despite uh, your star guard struggling? Well, again, just trusting in other guys and trusting in our game plan. Uh, there were uh, certain things that we wanted to do out on the floor, and uh, it worked tonight. Trey, uh, we wanted him to be aggressive. We always want him to be aggressive. His shot wasn't falling, uh, but he got the ball to some other guys, and they were able to make some plays. Uh, I thought, you know, Kevin, of course, led us. Uh, tonight, but Gallo did a good job coming off the bench. John Collins continues to be 
uh, consistent in his play. I thought Clint did an outstanding job of, uh, you know, guarding MB. You know, so it was a, it was really a team effort. Uh, one guy didn't shoot the ball well, but uh, other guys uh, we trusted. Uh, the rest of the team, and uh, they came through for us. Go to Jeff Schultz. Yeah, Nate, following a couple a couple of your other comments, I mean, your team really wasn't offensively tonight, um, and even many times in the series, what, what it has been during the season. And yet you guys, I mean, what is what can you say about how far you've come defensively, how far you've come in, in you know, the, the toughness and the courage that you referenced earlier? You know, we came a long ways. At the beginning of the season, uh, we were dropping close games. Uh, we were dropping a lot of games uh, where we had the lead going into uh, the second half or the fourth quarter. And uh, they've learned how to win games. Uh, you know, they're, they're showing composure out there. Uh, you know, tonight, I think it's a tie ball game going into the fourth quarter. And, you know, we've been in this situation many times. Uh, this year, I didn't see any panic. Uh, in our guys, I thought we we knew what we needed to do. It was clear what we needed to do. Defensively, get stops. Offensively, continue to execute on the offensive end of the floor, and and they did that. You know, so uh, this they've come a long ways. They've come a, a long ways uh, because I, I I think now I know I feel confident uh, going down the stretch uh, with this group uh, because they trust in each other. They trust in the system. Uh, that we're running, and uh, they are doing a good, really good job of executing uh, going down the stretch. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Nate, you, you mentioned uh, a, a lot of things about Trey already, but I wondered, even on, on games when he doesn't shoot well, what, what, what else does he contribute to this team just if for attitude in a setting like this? Well, it's just, it's, it's, again, the, he's, he's fearless, you know, so the opponents – uh, they have to guard for that. He will take a shot if he is open, regardless of how many shots he has missed. So he really stretches the defense. He puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Uh, a lot of times they're trying to get two guys on the ball, which is freeing up uh, the rest of the group. And he does a good job of getting the ball out of those double teams uh, when they are committing to the, two to the ball. So just the fact of uh, uh, Trey being out on the floor, he's a threat. Uh, you you have to defend that. You have to, uh, you know, get pos you know sometimes two guys on the ball, which a lot of times is freeing up uh, other players on the team. And tonight, uh, our guys were able to uh, make plays. Malika Andrews. Nate, this is a night that you guys are going to celebrate, but also this team hasn't been shy about your goals being bigger than the first round, bigger than getting out of the second round. And now the person that you're facing, one of them is Giannis Attentacumpo. I'm wondering what your early impressions are of him, how much you've been watching that other series and what was going on there as you prepare uh, for what you're facing in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, I have been watching um, the other series and uh, you know, really the focus has been on Philadelphia. Uh, Giannis is a great player. I mean, two-time MVP. Uh, we know what Milwaukee is all about. That's a really good team. Uh, but, you know, our focus has been on Philadelphia. And, uh, you know, right now we're going to go, you know, enjoy this. And uh, we'll start preparing for uh, Milwaukee tomorrow. Allison Mastrangelo. Hey, Nate, I'm just curious, what was the environment like in the locker room after tonight's win? Can you give a little description of what was the celebration like? Excited, you know, uh, this is a big, this is a big accomplishment for, for us, uh, for this team, uh, you know, from uh, where they uh, started the season and to uh, be going to the Eastern Conference Finals uh, and, you know, to beat two really good teams, uh, to have to win a game seven uh, we're very excited with what we have uh, accomplished. Uh, we know there's still a lot of work uh, to be done. So, you know, a lot of energy, uh, you know, but what this team has done uh, this season, they haven't gotten too high uh, when uh, we won games and we haven't gotten too low uh, when we've dropped games. And I think uh, that showed in tonight's game. 
you know, coming out on the road and having to play a game seven uh, in Philadelphia after dropping uh, a game we could have clinched in our home building. These guys stayed with it. Uh, they came out and executed the game plan, uh, played a solid 48 minutes and, uh, you know, won uh, a game seven, which is to, to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. So uh, just great work uh, by this group tonight. Andrew Lopez. Hey, Nate, uh, what did you think of the job that uh, Manyeka did on Embiid, especially in that first half? It seems like he was able to give you guys a lot of good minutes uh, there to kind of give Clint actually a little bit of rest. He really did. He really did. Uh, my coaches, I thought those guys, um, and, and let me talk about my coaches, Chris Gent and, and Melvin Hunt, uh, you know, two uh, outstanding uh, coaches, and they've done a great job. And I want to kind of put a plug in with, with all these uh, opportunities out here. I think some of these teams need to look at these guys. Uh, they told me that Big O was uh, doing a good job on Embiid, and we wanted to uh, leave him in to uh, allow him to just continue to just make Embiid work. Uh, you're not going to stop him, but if you can make him work, uh, you know, that's about as good as you can get, play position defense. And uh, Big O did that. He did that uh, for us tonight. Uh, we gave him a few extra minutes on Embiid and uh, just did a real solid job. He's done a solid job really all series long uh, with the minutes that he has gotten. Fred Khalil. Hey, coach, what just kind of advantage, if you could talk about the advantage that you have two bigger guys like Herter and Gallinari playing kind of outside and off the ball and the way they can move and, and kind of be two way guys. Just could you talk about their contributions? Well, I mean, uh, uh, Gallo has played some three uh, in his career. Uh, he's played mostly four in the last few years of his career. But in this series, because they were so big, we played a, we played a bigger lineup. We had to go to a bigger lineup with uh, Gallinari, John Collins, and Clint Capella out there uh, at times. And we just had two guards. Uh, you know, both he and Kevin has uh, come off the bench for us and really uh, made our bench so much stronger uh, this season, uh, but they have, had to uh, step into that starting lineup at times and, and play for us and give us some minutes. You know, those two guys are, are big keys to uh, our success uh, this season. And, you know, the combination of the two, I really like, you know, so we always try to uh, match those guys, keep those two guys on the floor together. Thank you. Yes. We've got time for just two more. They will go to McLean Baxley of the AJC and then Chris Kirshner. Coach, you know, the Hawks are now five and two on the road this playoffs, you know, three and one in Philly. What were you able to do to kind of uh, neutralize, you know, very two, two hostile environments with a very young team and not let it uh, rattle you all too much? You know, again, we, we talk about our three C's and, 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 and that's, that's really big and it's for real. Uh, you know, being calm, uh, being clear about what you need to do out there and being connected on both ends of the floor. And, you know, normally we talk about that. Uh, you know, making sure that we uh, we do that in the fourth quarter, but it was necessary for 48 minutes tonight that we have that calmness about us. We couldn't allow them to get out uh, to have a big quarter in that first quarter and the third quarter. Those were two quarters we wanted to make sure that we didn't allow the crowd to get into the game. You know, so we had to uh, make sure that we uh, was clear about what we needed to do and and execute on both ends of the floor. And I thought our guys did that, you know, that really uh, the in energy in the building, uh, because we were doing a great job of executing, really didn't have an impact on us tonight. And uh, they've been showing that type of composure uh, really most of the season and certainly uh, in these uh, first two rounds. Chris? Nate, when you took over, this team was 14 and 20, 11th in the in the East, and now you're one of the two best teams now remaining in the Eastern Conference. Did you see the potential that this team could be in this position when you did take over? I thought that, I thought we had some talent and uh, we could be a good team. Uh, you know, as far as 
you know, predicting the future and, and all of that. You know, I, I, don't, I don't look at uh, teams like that because it's, it's so tough to, to win in this league. Uh, you know, what we tried to do was build a culture uh, that uh, would produce winning and, and, and create a style that uh, would give these guys an opportunity uh, to win games. And that's respect in the game. You know, you play the game with effort every single night. Uh, you play the game together uh, and you trust in each other. And, you know, those are the things that we were trying, I was trying to build uh, with this group. I, I felt like we had some talent, even though it was young talent. Uh, and if we could get that uh, in our system and, and basically uh, learn to execute uh, and play the win, uh, I felt we could win, we could win some games. And, you know, I always take, one game at a time, you know. I, I don't look, I don't look in, the, in too far in the future. I really don't look uh, uh, any, uh, not past the next game. So, you know, that's my approach. Uh, far as, you know, taking over the team and thinking that they would be in this position. Uh, I think anything is possible if you play the game the right way. Uh, you bring the effort uh, to the floor, and uh, you play with that commitment and you sacrifice as these guys have done. Thank you, coach.